Okay, so in this video, we're looking at the present value of an annuity due. In a previous video, we've looked at the future value of an annuity due. Remember that an annuity due means that payments are happening at the beginning of each period at the beginning. Okay, so a, a timeline for an annuity due might look something like uh, this. Here's our timeline, boom, boom, boom. Uh, now, each payment is going to be made at the start of each period. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Let's have five periods here. And our payments, let's make them 500 bucks. So $500 at the start, 500 here, 500 here, 500 here, and 500 here. Now, the important thing to realize is that you're looking for the present value, not the future value. So the present value here, here's the present value right there. And that's going to be the sum of a geometric uh, series. We've got 500, that's our first value, and no surprise, the present value of that's going to be 500. Now this, now the present value of $500 one period from now is going to be equal to 500 times 1 plus i to the power of negative 1. Now we can do that with all of these. This 500 is going to be 500 times 1 plus i to the negative 2. And so on, 500, 1 plus i to the negative 3, 500, 1 plus i to the negative 4. Now it's important for you to realize that our common ratio or a common, yeah, a common ratio is 1 plus i to the negative 1. Now, you saw this before when you did the um, present value of just a plain annuity. You've seen this common ratio before. Now, uh, we, can, we can do this to apply, we can apply this to a question. Uh, just need a little more information before we start. So let's say we're having $500 at the start of every period for, uh, let's say, years. So that's one year. Okay, so years. Uh, let's give ourselves an interest rate of 8% per annum, so 8% per year. Uh, now, I haven't written up a, a worded question, but here's my question. $500 at the start of every uh, period for five, or well, start of every year for five years at 8% per annum. What's the present value going to be? Okay, so we can use our formula here. Uh, the present value of that is going to be equal to A bracket R to the N minus 1 over R minus 1. And then we just need to put all of this stuff in there. Now, careful here, you need to think about what your first factor is. Now, you, when last we did your present value, the first factor was 500 times 1 plus i to the negative 1. But here you can see that our, fir or our, our first amount is just 500. So this one's a much, much easier one to deal with. Now, our common factor, each one of these is being multiplied by 1 plus i to the negative 1. So uh, 1 plus i, our interest rate is 8%. So that's going to be 1.08 to the power of negative 1, and then raise that to the power of n, 5 years. See, we're going crazy here with brackets, uh, minus 1. Okay, and then all over the common ratio, which is going to be 1 plus i to the negative 1, 1.08 to the negative 1 minus 1. Now, some math teachers will tell you this, this is wrong and we really should be doing 1 minus r to the n over 1 minus r. Uh, it's really just a mathematical convention. You'll get the same answer whether it's this minus this, this minus this, or 1 minus r to the n over 1 minus r. You're right both ways. Okay, let's put that into our calculator and see what we get. Uh, so when I type that into my calculator, I get an answer of uh, two thousand one hundred and fifty six dollars and six cents. Now this is the point in our question where you need to stop and think does that make sense? Now at first glance you might look at it and say well actually no that doesn't make sense. 
$500 at the start of every year for five years. That's, we know that that's $2,500. Now, what this question is asking you is, what is the present value of $2,500 spread over five years? Now, the present value of that is going to be less than the total. Uh, the reason for that is called the time value of money. I'm much better or I'm exactly the same or way off if, I, if someone gives me $2,156.06 as I would be if they gave me $500 at the start of each year. Uh, kind of like uh, a bird in the hand is worth two in the, in the tree. Um, you're better off to have the money now in your pocket and a little bit less uh, than you are to have it spread over a large period. So keep that in mind. You might look at this and you might check for understanding and go, ooh, that looks smaller than this. Yeah, it will. That's kind of the point. Okay, uh, that's the present value of an annuity due. When you're doing it, make sure that you draw your diagram. You really think about what you're doing and then you just toss it in there and make it happen. All right, thanks a lot, guys.